Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video, I'm Get Good Guy, and Battlefield 5 now has a practice range. I'm sure the vast majority of you watching this video are already aware of that, but that means you're also probably aware that most people think it's, let's say, not very imaginative. <laughs> now I'm pleased that DICE have added it to the game, although I think it should have been something they planned to introduce at release, considering there was a version of it in BF4, and many people called for it in BF1, and I think if they had planned for it from the start, it would have been way better than what we have now. But alas, we have something at least, which is nice, but I think I could make it 100 times better. 100 times may not actually be accurate. It's merely symbolic of how much better the practice range could be in very mild clickbait. When watching this video, terms and conditions do apply. I'm talking time trials, horde modes, actual rewards and incentives and all sorts of cool stuff. Although not all of my ideas will be viable, I'm sure. For someone who actually knows how to design a game, I'm sure a developer could tell you why some of them aren't possible, but I figured I'd just mention what pops into my head because you may as well make every facet of your game as good as it can be, right? Make it an actual draw, not something just tacked on to the end, and keep people playing. So if you like the sound of the ideas I have today, hit the like button for me, share the idea, make it known politely to people what you'd like to see in the game. The devs do listen sometimes, but just remember that not everything is possible. So the practice range right now can be played solo or multiplayer with a squad, and a lot of it basically boils down to shooting some dummies that pop up or go back and forth. You know, you also have some shooting of little targets that appear on a wall and it records your streak, the opportunity to fly around or drive around some vehicles, and you can turn off or on a friendly fire switch if you want to shoot the people that are in there with you or not. And that's basically it. So again, I'm pleased that we have this, but it's just not overly impressive or really very useful. And real talk, one of the main reasons to have something like a practice range would be to help new or less able players, right? Well, I think it would be generous to say that this practice range will be anything more than ever so slightly helpful to new players. It's the absolute bare minimum. And for your average player or more able player, it's just not very useful and kind of boring. I was bored after about five minutes, unfortunately. For example, the lack of ability to test out different specializations on a weapon, that's a huge oversight. We need that to see what we want to put on a gun and which guns we want to try to use and unlock. That's a really big thing and having that be possible could be altered pretty easily and would make a massive difference how useful the practice range is. And while we're talking about basic stuff, just fix the things that don't work properly, like the bipods. For some reason they just work in a weird way or, or don't really work at all. And the super strong aim assist and slowdown and stuff on the dummies on console. I don't know if that happens on PC, but I'm playing on Xbox and the aiming feels super slowed down and weird on the dummies in the practice range, even though I have those settings turned off. So if my aim looks weird or slow or poor in the practice range, now you know why. It's, it's really, really weird when you try and aim at things. So if the practice range performs like the actual multiplayer, it'll again be far more helpful. It shouldn't feel different, that serves no purpose. But let's get to some of the actual ideas I have to add to the practice range. So rather than just having a friendly fire switch, why not add in a little arena? With the ability to set up 1v1s, 2v2s, 1v3s or whatever you like with your friends. Why not? If any of you have played COD World War 2, you might have an idea of what I'm talking about from the social area or whatever it was that they had in that game. Just set up a small enclosed area with some cover and let people shoot each other and record how many kills each team gets. First to 10 kills or something. Nice and simple, probably pretty addictive for some people to play with their friends, and it can actually help people to get better without having to go and get wrecked in multiplayer when they don't know what they're doing or they're using a weapon they're not used to. And I mean, dude, I'd grab my mates and go and play 2v2s for a while, set up some cool ideas, you know, snipers only, jump shots only, shotgun rushing, whatever you want. There's a lot you can do with a simple premise like this. Or moving on, the war stories have enemies with programmed AI, so is it possible to take that and apply it to the practice range at all. I don't know how they'd be programmed. I assume it isn't the same type of AI as something as in say like Destiny where it seems a bit more free roam friendly. But if possible, can we get some basic, I mean really basic even, AI enemies in the practice range? So there's something that can actually move and shoot back at us. You know, even just give them some very basic pathing and let us go around trying to kill them in a certain area while they're going around doing what they're doing, shooting us if they see us. That would be far superior to shooting dummies I think and can help people to improve far more. If that kind of thing is possible, then absolutely sign me up for some basic horde mode. Again, just have another open area, Hamada has loads of them anyway, set up some cover again with some basic spawn points and just throw enemies out in waves. Maybe make it so you can select easy, medium or hard like you can with some of the other activities in the practice range. Then boom, a whole new thing that people will probably want to play. The more things the game has that can attract people, the more players BF5 might end up with or at least keep hold of. And then add leaderboards. Yes, put 
in leaderboards and give the option to filter by friends and worldwide, people will play that stuff. People love leaderboards. They play stuff for hours to get to the top of leaderboards. Remember how Modern Warfare 2 had leaderboards way back in the day for their spec ops missions or whatever they were called? Like the snowmobile racing or something. People went nuts for that trying to beat their friends. So put a leaderboard up for the target practice and everything and just add things that people will want to do in order to compete with others. Maybe throw in some skins and dog tag rewards or something for achieving certain times or totals for doing the challenges. Make everything less bare bones. You have at least a framework now, even with just the target streak wall and such. So give them a leaderboard and reward so players will actually have a reason to do it. People want an incentive to do things, so make sure they have one. And this can all still tie into being good practice. Like the vehicle possibilities are currently non-existent. Yes, you can go and drive into some targets and stuff when you're playing on your own, but can it be a bit more interesting, give us a bit more to do? And for the planes, why not some of those hoops that we've seen in a million games before? You could fly around and go through the hoops, and no doubt all of the hardcore pilots out there will compete to top the leaderboards for that kind of thing if you actually make it interesting, make it kind of challenging. Or what about learn to use the Piat or the Panzerfaust by trying to hit moving vehicles? Just a basic pattern that they go through. It could be great practice, actually fun, and easily turned into a leaderboard for the streak that you can hit. And then boom, all the requirements met with one simple idea. And speaking of moving targets, can we have the dummies altered so they at least move side to side in a somewhat unpredictable fashion? That'll actually help with our tracking of targets and give them hit markers. We don't just want to see at the top whether we've hit a certain amount of headshots or not. We want real time hit markers so we can tell if we're hitting it as we're looking at it. We need to know if we're hitting the target. That seems pretty basic. Hit markers are a must. We have them in multiplayer, put them in the practice range. And I'm going to close this all out by just asking for a basic tutorial for each equipment piece. You want people to stop being bad team players in the game, right? Let's at least give them the option to learn to use things in the practice range. Lay them out all in a row with a really basic requirement to meet and then give them a skin or something for doing all of them. Then people will at least know what each piece of equipment does and they might then use it in multiplayer. So yeah, those are my ideas for the practice range currently. I think implementing some of them would make it so much better and more fun. I fully understand that the devs may have reasons why some of it isn't possible, but try to tell me they don't sound like good ideas. I'm sure many of you would like to see some of those options be available. We're talking about a big developer here, I'm sure they can manage some of this stuff, even if they're working on other facets of the game. And regardless, modes put in the game need to be worth playing, otherwise there's no point. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I'd appreciate it very much if you could hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, turn on notifications with the bell button so you can keep up to date, and finally, feel free to join my Discord server in the description and my pinned comment. Now let's head over to the Board of Awesome for the epic people who support the channel on Patreon. That support helps me do this every single day, so thank you so very much to everybody on here. If you want to join them on the Board of Awesome, the link to the Patreon page is in the description and my pinned comment. And with that all said, I'm Get Good Guy, and I'll see you next time, laters.